Hello everyone, welcome back to All The Mods 9 No Thrills. So, in today's episode, um, well, I've already done a few bits. So, first off, I made 19 Awakened Supremium Furnaces. And to do that, you have to do this, right? Yeah, this is the whole reason I went and tried to make some Awakened Supremium, like, bees last episode. And I've got, like, a bunch of it now. Like, I was AFK for a little bit, so that makes sense, right? Uh, but, yeah, we got quite a bit. And, uh, whoa, how are we doing on the Insanium? So, these do slowly go down. And they get crafted up into the Insanium blocks. But they, they get crafted all the way down to Inferium. Get turned into Inferium blocks. And then get turned into Insanium blocks. It's so weird. I could literally just do this. I probably should just make a Insanium block draw. But... That would get really confusing. Anyway, um, I made the Awakened Supremium Furnaces because I realised that's all we need. Obviously, we need those um, those flesh, but we do have those flesh right here. What are we missing? Oh, apparently I didn't do all of the blocks of um, Tyrion steel. Did I do that off, off camera as well? I feel like I might have done by accident. There we go. That's what I needed. Oh. Almost anticlimactic, but it does mean that we've got eh. 19 Philosopher's Fuel. Awesome. I don't even know what we've got left, if I'm honest. If we have a look, I think we can at least get one, right? We can get one ATM start, like, relatively soon. Oh, never mind. I forgot that we need to do all of the stuff from Pneumaticraft. And we also need to make the Eternal Stellars. Oh my goodness, this is such a pain in the bum. <laughs> this whole thing is such a pain. Okay, we, we could do this. Let, uh, which one should we do first? Maybe I should try and crack out both this and some new Minecraft in this episode. Oh, and we need to do this as well. Why do we need this? Oh, for these eye things. What? Why do we need, why do we need it for the eyes? Oh, there. yeah, yeah, I forgot about this. The environmental eye, we need that. All right, we're going to make the, the gold leaf thing right now. Let's do that because that takes time. So, yeah, let's let's just do the three because I can't be asked to make another one. There we go. So that is that is just going to convert all of the leaves into the um, golden leaves. These things, the golden leaves, which we will use later on. Uh, well, actually, first off, we need to get the wooden stands and stuff. Anyway, ignore that for now. We got the Philosopher's Fuel we are working on. Master of Oblivion and the Master of the Undead. I think we could do this one almost. We need to do all of the stuff from... Oh, and we also need the Master of Space. Excellent. Oh, hello. So, yeah, we got we got three that we need to work on. I mean, the Eternal Stellar... Yeah, let's do that one. Why not? Right. I think these are the ones that we need. So we've got polished dark stone on the edge. I, I looked up everywhere to try and find the uh, the book for this, but it's weird that this doesn't have a book, in my in my opinion. This really should have a book because like making this thing is not intuitive <laughs> at all. So anyway, um that's using polished dark stone. So if I just hover like this, you can see the, the pattern that we're going for. Uh the ones that are empty, they're the ones that we're gonna have to put with other things, right? Add forbidden. With the thingy in it. There we go. Oh, hello. There we go. So, I believe, is it one of these chiseled polished dark stones? I think it's these ones. Uh, yeah, we need this as well. Is that right? Or is it this one? Oh, it was that one, yeah. Uh, right. Uh, I've made the, uh, the so... I've auto crafted all of these already. So I've got all of these on auto craft because you need uh, one of the blocks. You need it for this, right? So I've already auto craft the. Uh... Don't make me say it. Deer rum. That's what I'm going to call it. Deer rum. There we go. Anyway, I'm, I'm just going to get. Uh, let's auto craft, I don't know, 64 of these. We don't need 64. I'm just going to make them because I can. Because why the heck not? Anyway, with this. Uh, we need to make a ton of nuggets. And then, is it with the polished? No. Which one is it then? 
Uh, this one. Chiseled. Oh, okay. Yeah, we could do that. And then we can convert these ones. Okay. And we need... I think it's like eight of these, from what I remember. So it's the one around the edge, basically. We do these. Was well, nine, apparently. Is it one in the middle? Yeah, one in the middle. And then this might actually be a perfect amount, because... Never mind, how do we get these ones? I think it's these that we need. Maybe we should look at the quests. That's one way to do it, isn't it? Let's grab that as well. Ooh. Blessed. We got a blessed helmet right there. Look at the luck on that thing. Five luck. Oh, that's insane. That's really good. I don't know how you... Uh... Okay, I'm going to put that in my backpack and we'll use that um, next time we actually go looting, if we need to loot. And then we got the, uh, yeah, those things. Anyway, what are we doing? Uh, we're looking at quests, right? So, Ophiosis gear. Okay. <laughs> oh, that was the only one that I, yeah, the reason I didn't get this up here and this over here is because I was like, well, I haven't got this one yet. But we could finish off doing Apotheosis at some point. Anyway, let's go down to the Forbidden and Arcana thing. There we go. So it is these ones that we need. Okay, so let's try Polished Darkstone. Let's get some more of that. And this should be enough. Just one craft of this. Never mind, we need two crafts. That's fine. There we go. And then we use these ones on the edges, like that. And then, what is it that you put in the middle? I always forget. Is it a smithing table? It is a smithing table. Okie doke. What do we get there? Ooh. Yeah, the Oriole bottles, they're going to be really useful. I think... Potion of Regen, that's what you need. I've got an absolute ton of these... Well, not a ton, but we've got a good amount of Arcane Crystals. So, um, that came from the Chunk Destroyer, and I'm not sure where... We got it in the Chunk Destroyer. Maybe it was in the Twilight Forest because we did a load in there, didn't we? So, anyway. Uh, smithing table and then you use one of the dusts on it. So, these dust things. So, I'm going to grab those. And we need a smithing table, which I've got a bunch of. Again, you find those out and about all the time. And a shift click. There we go. We got the forge. And we can automatically put like a load of this this stuff in because we do need to fill this up now the way that i'm going to do it is in fact there's a quest for it right here to create an arcane obelisk place down an arcane polished dark stone block uh, then two arcane crystal blocks on top of it right click with one of those dusts so at forbidden so we need one of these. Actually, we need a bunch more of these. So let's, uh, let's just make 64 because we can. And we need a couple of these. One, two, three, four, eight. Because I want to make four. Might be able to make more later on. Did it say which, which one it was again? It was, uh, was it Arcane? Arcane Polished. Okay, I'm not sure which ones those are. Arcane Polished? It's chisel polished. Ah, these ones. Aha, I gotcha. So, with these ones, we can put these down like this. And the nice thing about these, by the way, is you can pick them up afterwards. So, if I do these, like that, and then all you do is you right click it. And I had some more of this, right? Yeah. Okay. And what these do is, over time, they will fill this up. So you can see that it's going up already. And you don't have to automate Oriole whatsoever. In fact, I might go make some more. Ah, oh, screw it, I'm making more. Here we go. I think they work on these corners as well. Don't quote me on that, though, because I have no idea. But fingers crossed. Is that going to go up even quicker? Or did I break it? No, nope, it's going up quite quick now. We're getting eight at a time because we've got eight of these. Pretty good. Pretty darn good right there. Uh, we need souls. Oh, why did I forget about souls? Souls is so annoying. 
Maybe we should try and automate this. Okay, we're going to make this the Forbidden and Arcana episode then, the Eternal Stellar episode. Because <laughs> that's the most annoying part, is the souls, in my opinion. Anyway, right, let's try it with... Oh, didn't someone get it working with, like, the player... The player thingy. Uh, from... Integrated Dynamics. Hmm. I might go look this up. Oh, this is really tempting, I must admit, <laughs> to make the uh, the Stellarite be. If I do make this, we'll make it off camera, I think. Oh yeah, do we have any of these Stellarite pieces? I'm sure we do. Let's have a look. We've got bugger all of these. What? Why do we have like so little of the Stellarite pieces? That's really weird. I feel like we should have loads of these. Uh, I might have to do a chunk destroy in the overworld again or something. But um, yeah, I was thinking if we do the B, the B, by the way, it gives you a 1% chance every time you get a Stellarite comb to get uh, an Eternal Stellar. And then you can also use the Stellarite combs to get, well, the uh, the X Petrified or thingies, or orbs, whatever, and the, uh, the Stellarite pieces. So how do we make the, the egg for this? So we need a lot of these X petrified, well, we need four of these X petrified orbs and two eternal stellars. So we only need two stellarite pieces to begin with to get this going for one B. And it does say, yeah, they can't breed amongst themselves. That's fine. So we'll probably get five of these, which means we need 10 eternal stellars. I like the idea of doing this because whilst we're doing, whilst this is, you know, generating us, some uh eternal stellars we can be off doing everything else for these three so like we we are going to need to do the nature's aura going to need to do cataclysm everything in this one because i've ignored this although by the looks of it i can do the dark rune oh yeah we got to do the majornair at some point and i've already done the lightning bombs we need to do this one stable wormhole as well that's should be easy enough anyway um yeah i think what we're gonna have to do now is if we have a look at the the forge this is nearly full up by the way which is insane uh, <laughs> if we look through here you can see that you need 500 oriole so we've already got that which is awesome uh we need some of these spawner scraps we need arcane crystals and one of these uh eldwood ed okay log I've definitely got the logs. You get these, by the way, in... I think I'm just doing that. Yeah, you get them in the dark forests. So if we have a look right here, uh, all of this is dark forest. So we've got loads of them because look at it. Now, all of this right here is dark forest. So you can use your um, nature's compass and you can go find it. Anyway, we stick one of these in the middle right there. And... Is that how we do it? Yeah, yeah, yeah that's that's the one. And then we are going to need all eight of the uh, the pedestals. So I'm going to have to remove these afterwards. And we do need some ped -y stools. So these ones, the dark stone pedestals. Magnetized dark stone pedestals. Okay, I don't know how you get those, but still. Yeah, we're going to need to get these at some point. I might actually go put that one on autocraft because it's kind of an annoying recipe. And I always mess it up. So give me a sec. Right, I'm getting proper annoyed by those flipping um, eggs. So what we're going to do is I'm going to get a magnet upgrade for my backpack. So if we do one of these and then... Oh, by the way, a load of people have mentioned that I can uh, like put an affix on my backpack. So we can go and reforge this at some point. I, I, I will do that at some point. I just can't be asked right now. So anyway, <laughs> we've got this thing and we're going to say pick up items... And then not match content, allow, and then we can get Easter eggs. Easter, okay, it's not going to show me. All right, what we can do is we can run around and we can get all of the different, oh, maybe it's going in there straight away. Oh, and we got to load it in our system, so that'll do us. Grab those as well. So... Uh, yeah, I'll do each of the different colors and they should just go straight in my backpack Although it looks like they're already going in there. So you don't need the colors, but I'm gonna do it anyway because 
uh, reasons. Anyway, now it shouldn't go into my inventory, and we are we are free, free and clear of those. Awesome. Anyway, pedestals, ped, pedestals. Where are they? These ones. So we need eight of those. Uh, and oh, I forgot. We need souls, don't we? So the soul extractor. I already made one of these. Uh, you need nether brick. You need some quartz. You need one of these jars, which does require these uh, these wood, old wood planks. I must have used some old wood before to make this, and then the other one got used up in just a regular craft. Uh, but anyway, on this I put mending. I also put unbreaking, but I think I accidentally put it in the um, the enchantment stripper at one point when I was uh, like off camera doing off camera work. So we could pop it in in here and see what we get. Mending, soul, oh, yeah, yeah. There's nothing on here that that is like. Let's get a big level of uh, unbreaking, I think, and then we'll just enchant this real quick. There you go, unbreaking. So what you do with this is uh, you get some soul sand, and uh, you just place it down, and then you right click on it, and then over time you get these souls. And uh, there's a real easy modular router for this. You know I do everything with modular routers, right? So modular routers. Let's do two of those. One and two. And we need a placer. That's modular. Have I not got placer? Oh I do, yeah. And we also need a breaker, which I don't have on craft, which is fine. And we got a breaker. Oh yeah, make that for me please. I said make that. Okay, there we go. Thanks. So the breaker is going to go here and we're going to say break the left. I think I've done. Oh, yeah. And we need to tell it not or we need to tell it to get the soulless sand right there. I think it just works right now because I've changed. Yeah, there we go. I've changed some setting. I'm not exactly sure which one. I know that's not very helpful, but <laughs> I don't know which one I've changed, but it means that it, it works without the security module now. Anyway, we can do this. And we can just hold. And in fact, let's get some speed upgrades in here. Because that just means that we have literally no downtime. There you go. And I don't remember how many souls we need for the upgrade. But I'm going to go for 10. They've definitely made this quicker. Which I'm very happy about because it was painful before. But anyway, you put 10 in, that's as much as it can hold. And then we also need some blood and I don't think we need experience for this. So we need some blood and no experience. I don't think much requires experience. If we do this, so that's just for the upgrades. That doesn't require, that one doesn't require. Nope, nope. And nope, nothing requires experience in here, that's interesting. Very interesting. What does this do? Oh, nice. Oh, this must be how you, you do the magnetized stuff. Anyway, um, so we need blood in here. Let's grab a uh, spawner. Actually, let's grab one of... We can take the one out of here, can't we? Hashtag silk touch. I've not got a silk touch pickaxe anymore. Oh, I must have. Oh, I got rid of it when I made this thing, this bad boy. So let's do a uh, pickaxe. We might as well make an all the modium pickaxe. Uh, I'm going to do something that annoys everyone, which is I'm not going to do it properly. You can make these um, easily by doing this and you get a way better return. But I like doing it inefficiently because I know it annoys people. <laughs> So we're going to do that, and silk touch. And I don't think we need anything else. But if we do this, silk touch pickaxe. Let's put that in my backpack. Although, I already have one in my backpack with silk touch. Oh well, now we have two. It's meant to do that, obviously. So this deepling brute, we already have, like, uh, 
We already have a maxed or near near enough maxed spawner, don't we? So this is how I did it before. And if I'm honest, we're not going to need deep limb brutes anymore. And uh, I think what we could do, let's have a look at this. We could probably swap this out for something a bit easier for us to kill. Uh, so let's do that. What eggs have we got? We got slime, silverfish, wolf, witch. Something that doesn't drop anything would be nice. We could do foxes. That seems a bit cruel though, doesn't it? Um, oh, oh, we can we can definitely kill two birds. Sorry, we can feed two birds with one scone right now, and uh, that is one of these. I think it's the warlock. Okay. Uh, Heart. It's the thing that requires the heart of the sea, this thing. So this comes from the priest. So yeah, let, let's get the priest. Priest egg, there it is. So we're going to put that on there. And then this will spawn in the priests. I probably should have spawned in whatever was in there before and then got a swab of it. Oh well, doesn't matter. Uh, we got loads of uh, Heart of the Sea, so we're good. Leave. Uh, imagine if we run out though. Ooh. Anyway, we can do that, and it should spawn in a bunch of them. There we go. And then we can just murderize them like that. And then we're going to get a bunch of these. So we can lob these away. Uh, oh yeah, the redstone link. Okay, let's. Oh. We got a flawless, a flawless earth gem out of that. That's really good. <laughs> Unfortunately, I've already got the uh, the f uh, like perfect earth gem on this thing. Ah, oh, that's annoying. Oh well, deepling priest. Oh, oh, that makes sense. Wait, uh, deepling. We've already got these, these brute things. So we can use these with an egg to get. Uh, yeah, we can get a spawn egg just like that. So we didn't need to do any of that gubbins, like of swapping and everything. Cool. Okie doke. So I'm going to pop these over here. And by the way, that did get a bunch of blood in there. Is that enough? That looks like enough to me. Oh no, it needs 6,000. Uh, this, by the way, means that you don't have to use the vials. I did have a question recently about the, the vials. We should probably do this until we get another one of those charms. Because then what I will do is I'll do the Colossus. Oh, there we go. We've got the charm already. Nice. Or the Corolossus. And that is full up now of blood. Perfect. Let's break all of these. Oh my goodness, they take ages to break. Right, there you go. And I put all the pedestals down. And what do we need for the first one? Arcane crystals and spawner scrap. I swear we're going to have loads of spawner scrap. Spawner scrap. It's not actually that much. Fair enough. But we'd have loads. Arcane crystals. Perfecto. Uh, I think it's going to do it. I don't remember if this needs a redstone signal. Oh yeah, don't we need a gavel? Gavel. I, I forgot about these, if I'm honest. Uh, how do you make... Uh, I want to make one of these reinforced ones eventually. Not very forthcoming about how you make them. Anyway, you can make this one. I knew that. I've always only ever made these ones though, the uh, the diamond one. So, anyway, gavel, and it's got a durability on it, but it's also got remaining uses for the ritual. So you could have a, a hundred percent durability and thirty remaining uses. Right click. There we go. That's the one. That's what you need to do, and it does this beautiful. I've never seen this before, by the way. Well, I haven't seen it in a while because it doesn't it didn't work with shaders I think and I'm not playing with shaders this time which is uh, really nice. Oh, look at that. Lovely stuff. Right, how do we upgrade it again? <laughs> Instantly, how do we upgrade it again? Hey, look, mom, no hands. And done. Right. Oh, damn it. I can move the cup that I had sat on there. And we got 54 souls. Oh, there's a couple of dudes right there. There we go. So fill up on blood. Uh, Oriole is getting there, I suppose. And we can stick those in. And we're going to get fill up on souls as well. 
I think you need a max stack of souls to, to upgrade. Yeah, you do. Okay. Oh, good sign. It's got the, the little pentagram thingy on the floor. Uh, and then you just right click. There we go. And this is now the highest tier that we need for the ATM star. Right, last one of those. And I should now have... Sorry, mate. Uh, I should have all of the blood that I need. We get in there with the Oriole. We can make one right now. And it only takes one soul. So if we go here, it's 82. So we need 82 times 10. So we need 820 Oriole in there. We need one soul per. So we need 10 souls. And I think I've got 10 souls. There's six right there. And we've got four in our system. So there's 10 souls. I'm making 10, by the way, because it's uh, two each for the, uh, the bees. So that's the plan. And then it's a thousand blood each. And we've got 19,000 blood right there. 19 and a half thousand. So plenty, plenty, plenty. Just waiting on the Oriole. Uh, yeah, we need four for each of those. Right, cool. Anyway, um, that means that we've almost got enough blood. We need one more, one or two more kills. Stop spawning. Yeah, there we go. There we go, and that should now be enough blood. Yep, and we just need five more souls. We needed 800, didn't we? Okay, right, so we need 800. We can do one now. Let's do one whilst we wait, and then I'll probably just wait off, off camera and uh, do the rest. But it'd be nice to just see one of them work, right? Yeah, there you go. And then you just give it a whack with the uh, the gavel. Oh, yeah, this is the thing that takes the time. Imagine trying to make... How many of these? You need four Eternal Stellars per ATM star. That's just a lot right there, and you have to wait all this time. Oh, yeah, you can you can actually make this quicker with a, a time in the bottle, actually, thinking about it. So if you had a time in the bottle, you could shift right-click it, and it would just take ages. It would take less ages, I mean. Anyway, there's one. One down. Uh, let's get two and then we'll try and get a B, get a B up and running. Right, Ender B and Lapis B. And Lapis B comes from Redstone B and Blue Banded B. Redstone B comes from Glowing B and Chocolate Mining B. Right, I put the, uh, the Arcane Obelisk down again because we're going to go into the end again. Oh, and, uh, like we did with the Obsidian B nest right there, we're going to do the same with the Endstone B nest. And we're going to use Pop Chorus Fruit on it. Just spam the absolute heck out of it. That was an Enderby, right? Enderby. Lovely. We need to get ourselves a Glowstone Bee. So these need to be in their respective, like, um, biomes. And by that, I mean dimensions as well, right? Glowstone Bee. Thank you very much. And then the last one's kind of a pain in the bum. And that's the Blue Banded Bee. Oh, I think that was it. That was my second bee. Blue banded, beautiful. So we got the chocolate mining bee, we got the ender bee, glowing bee, and blue banded bee. I believe that's, <laughs> get it, believe. I believe that's all we need. So I've been reading my comments for today, uh, or yesterday for you guys, and uh, I did get a comment about the wasted radioactive bees, where you can use like polonium as the um, pollinating block. Or, you know, you put it in the feeding slab, and polonium will work with wasted radioactive bees, uh, which is amazing. That's actually a better idea than using the Uranium 5X that we used to have on... Actually, we still got it on our server. Um, but you can also use, like, antimatter pellets. I think you feed them to radioactive bees. It doesn't look like it's in No Frills right now. It might be in the main pack, but not in No Frills yet. It's been a little bit of time. I went and had some tea and... Uh, yeah, I watched a bit of uh, The Gentleman. Thank you to Minty, by the way, out in the community. Minty suggested we uh, we watch The Gentleman, and it's awesome. Such a good uh, like TV show on Netflix. Anyway, we've been watching that recently. Uh, you should be... Ah, there you go. Pulled out. Yeah, perfect. Uh, this is making us diamond bees, by the way. Uh, these are max stats as well, obviously, because we want extra stats coming in here. In the time it took to make these bees, I, I probably should have just uh, like left them in here, but I forgot to add one in. Oh, no, I did put one in, but it was a child, so that was annoying. But 
Whilst that happened, uh, we had a bit of a scafu, which is our storage filled up. So all of our power died because we couldn't like feed the uh, feed the beast, huh? feed the beast that is uh, the uh, the mycelial reactor, right? We couldn't feed this. It's now working again, which is awesome. But uh, it's all because up here we've got four hundred. Nearly 500k, let's say. Let's say half a mil of sugar right there. And that's coming from the witch data model. So this thing is making us 32 sugar each time. And that was fill filling up our system. So we've currently got three discs. Uh, I always do that. Damn it. Where am I? Eh. There we go. So we've currently got... Uh, wait, where is it? Here. Three discs. Uh, once I got rid of all of the sugar, it, we had a load of space, but I thought I might as well make another disc just in case that happens again with something else. Anyway, this is making us some um, bees. And we should in here have... Okay, maybe it's not done yet. Are you done in here? Why are you not pulling? Did I, did I not... Oh, I forgot to turn this one back on. There we go. Beautiful. So that's going to go in here. And then, I think we can, there we go. And there we go, diamond bee right there. So we're going to get a, a couple of diamond bees, at least five, right? And uh, this is all full up because we've been away for a little bit. All the souls, got all the blood we need. Yeah, it's going well. Plus, look at our backpack. We don't even, <laughs> we've got all of this uh, these Easter eggs. In our backpack. That was such a good idea to put it in uh, in our backpack like that. So I'm happy that we don't have those anymore. I actually went AFK a couple of episodes ago up in the air like this, thinking I would not get any, and I still got some somehow. They must have spawned inside here, and then my my uh, magnet picked them up or something. So after all of that, we got ourselves two diamond bees so far. So far, I thought we'd make one real quick. Uh, make a uh, stellarite bee. So um, I made all of the eternal stellars by hand, manually, because why not? We are going to get an absolute ton of stellarite out of this, aren't we? And why? Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, we're going to get loads of stellarite out of this, so I'm going to have to make a draw for it. I'll put that somewhere, because uh, otherwise it will clog up our system. There we go. So... Click on this, we can swap that one out. There's our Stellarite B. I'm going to do the same thing again. One, two, three, and four. One and two. And then, eh. And then that'll do another one. And we don't have another Diamond B yet. Have we got another one in here? No, not quite yet. And we are done. We have got five Stellar Eternal, and there's just flipping Stellar Eternal right there. I really like the fact that it will, it will like put the Stellar Eternal in here. Eternal Stellar, sorry. It's where it used to be called the Stellar Eternal. Anyway, I, yeah, I like that it will put it in here because then it, it like works really well. Oh my goodness. And I've gone into the flipping nether. Brilliant. I've got to watch with that. Flipping egg. There you go. Um, I did have to change out my, my wall a little bit. I need more storage. So, and we got 16 already, so that's four ATM stars. Easy. I think next episode we'll get on with... Let me just get rid of all of these and we'll have a look. See what we're going to do with the Stereo Turner now. So, I've got all of the Rows of Oblivion as well. I went to collect those like ages ago. You just go into the, uh, the end. That was easy. Maybe we do this next episode? All right, before we leave, I'm going to get the Bottles of Darkness. Because we can. Right. There we go. We are like quite far away. You can barely see. Anyway, we can right click right here. I forget how many of these we need. Is it two per? Yeah, we do need two per. So it's 19. So we've got 19 there. Get this up to 19 and that should be everything done. Good stuff. I was about to make all the spy glasses as well because you need that for this. But um, apparently I've got a load of them from somewhere. I did make one, but anyway, 
yeah, next episode we'll get into the environmental eye from uh, Nature's Aura. And then I'll probably just crack on with um, Pneumaticraft. Now, I should really like Pneumaticraft because it's made by the same dev as uh, my favourite mod of all time, Modular Rooters. Um, but I don't know. I've, I've, not really, um, I've not really sunk too much time into it. And I think it's definitely one of those that's going to have to go down here. We could put it where the um, where uh, the extreme reactors were, to be fair. Hmm. Anyway, I'm going to call it here. So, thank you for watching. Thanks for joining. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. 6.72 days. That is... 161 hours and 17 minutes. Uh, so that's about four hours that I spent today. But I did go and have tea and stuff, right? So kind of makes sense.